So today I'm gonna to do an unboxing video of the Sonoff motion sensor. I'm gonna tell you all about it and I'm gonna show you how it integrates with Home Assistant. So a big thank you to IT for sending me this device. However, they've not sponsored this video, so you'll get all the good and all the bad from me. First of all, very good price point. This is coming in at under 14 US dollars, including shipping. It's a Zigbee 3.0 product, three year plus battery life, which is amazing. Plus it's got this five second detection cool down. So you can actually adjust it anywhere from 60 seconds right down to five seconds. If we scroll down to the bottom here, you will see that it's using the similar mounting system to the uh, present sensor. And it also offers an option of either screws or 3M sticker pad. So having a look inside the box, we have got our unit. As you can see, it's got the magnetic base once again, which can be screwed onto either the wall or the ceiling. And that sits very nice on top of that base. And as you can see, you can quite easily move it around and get any sort of direction you want. On the front here, we've got the actual plastic dome with the PIR. On this side, we've got a button for pairing um, and for making changes to the device as well. I'll show you later. Um, in order to start off with this device, we click it open, turning anti-clockwise. Then we need a coin, or I'm just gonna use this bottle opener just to twist and we can then open this up to reveal the battery. Now, you need to take out the little piece of paper that is blocking the battery to get started. As you can see, it's a different type of cell. So we just close that up once again, click the back on, just make sure that you click this on quite nice and strongly. Now it's a nice hard plastic, quite smooth, really nicely designed compared to some of the other cheaper devices which fall into this category that are purely 3D printed. We've got a little booklet as well, giving us some information here about pairing and things. And we have our QR code for pairing over here. To add the device to our network, we go along and we add it to the eWeLink app. Now this is important because we do wanna be able to update the firmware. So we go along here, we go to eWeLink and we go plus and then we select scan our device. What we do then is we scan the QR code. There we go. And it will now pick up our device. And what it now says, add device. So there we go, it knows what device it is. All it's gonna do now is it's going to explain to us that we need to open it up and take that little piece of paper out. And then we need to hold the little button on the side in for five seconds. So we'll just do that one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. It's all ready to go. We go next, check that the LED is flashing. Yes, and it will now link this up. Now, because I've got an NS Panel Pro, it's going to use that as my bridge. Up. So now we're just going to select the NS Panel. There we go. It will now connect. So it takes a little bit of time. Just give it some time to connect here. There we go, it's found our device and we can now go next and it will then connect our device. Now it does advise that you need to be close to the hub. I wasn't hope, oh, close to the hub, it worked anywhere. So there we, we go, our device is loaded now. We can click on the device, all right, and if we click the three dots at the top here, we can see that we're on the latest software version and we can go along here. The only change that you can make is the detection duration. You can see I've got it in 60, but we can bring that right down to five seconds. And when we hit the save button, we need to press this button just to make sure that it updates and accepts that change. So to there. add this device to Home Assistant, all we do is we go along to our settings, to our devices and services, scroll down here to Zigbee devices and add a device. And then we hold this little button so that it can go back into pairing mode and it should pop up in your Zigbee device list here. There we go, it's just popped up. It's just busy starting to do its interview and it should be available shortly. So now the device has been registered into Home Assistant. As you can see here, occupancy is detected at the moment um, and we have basically the motion and 
the occupancy sensors that we can use. Now, I've been using this device for quite a while now in my bathroom, turning my lights on and off. It works a dream. So that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.